We are at the Discovery Centre, which is Outlandish's home base, and we are within the first floor exhibition area where we've got a great exhibition going on at the moment called the Robert Brown Exhibition Life Through a Lens. Well, Robert Brown is a local man, um, has a great interest in photography, he's uh, self taught, he's an engineer by profession. And I think that comes through his photography, his attention to detail is, is fantastic, it really is. And you can see he gets an absolute pleasure of looking at the local flora and fauna and recording it in his photographs. And he spent hours and hours of patience and time and care in looking at his subject matter. And it's certainly evident in the photos you see here at the exhibition. And the response we've had from the public has it, it, it's been fantastic. They've been absolutely enthralled. Regarding uh, Mr Brown, uh, he brought some selection of uh, photos in. We thought it would be appropriate to be exhibited here at the Discovery Centre uh, and we thought that the public and visitors to the region would really enjoy looking at the photos. The whole idea of the exhibition area is that it's a huge diverse uh, opportunity of seeing different mediums of art from sort of 2D, 3D, in ceramic, jewellery, oil paintings, acrylics, drawings, and of course photography, which is an art form in itself. This exhibition space on the first floor of the Discovery Centre, um, it's a fantastic space, uh, open to uh, lots of arts organisations and charities with the opportunity to uh, display and exhibit their, their artwork. And the cost of hiring the space is very low. We have a fantastic community ground floor gallery as well. You've got your audience, your footfall, coming to you here with over 120,000 visitors a year. In this exhibition, I like everything. And I think that's quite remarkable because you normally hone in one thing which you like. But I think this, the actual exhibition as a whole um, is, is really quite enticing. And one of the things which I thought may be appropriate, in, in fact, and the response I've had is, is that it is very appropriate that local businesses want to support local arts organisations to enhance the arts and cultural provision in the area. Um, and what I, what I did was approach a number of businesses independently and shared with them the work which Outlandish does within the community. We support over 5,000 individuals a year. And that we're also here to help develop artists and arts organisations and we need help to do that. And for a very small cost, uh, those business could be, businesses could be affiliated with what we do and to support local people. And they get their branding noticed by uh, local people and visitors and they're recognised as a company with corporate social responsibility. They care about what's happening within their community. More and more people are coming to see the exhibition. We've already had nearly a thousand people in the 11 days who have seen the exhibition. We're actually extending it through the whole month of August. So it's a real good opportunity for people uh, in these next two months to come and, and visit and have a look at Robert's work.